otherwise known as a kilt caution as well. Hey, the rodent that has launched a multi-agency task force is now threatening San Joaquin County. Part of the problem with it is, is it impacts uh, levees and roads and things like that because it likes to burrow and tunnel and uh, cause a lot of infrastructure damage. The California Department of Fish and Wildlife has already spotted about 20 nutrias, as they're called, in Fresno, Merced, and Stanislaw County. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is live in Stockton, where agricultural leaders are on alert. Carlos? That's right. Several months ago, leaders here in San Joaquin County had a potential sighting of a nutria. They didn't find anything, but these latest pictures from down south are causing concern. This is the image captured by officials with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. It's a nutria, which they say is larger than a muskrat and smaller than a beaver, and an appetite for destruction. But I think for us primarily the issue would be the infrastructure because if we get flooding uh, or if we can't you know, pump water off and, keep, and maintain those levees, then of course it's going to be difficult to farm out in those areas. The rodent eats so much vegetation that it threatens wetlands and there could also be loss of agriculture crops and levees. The animals have been sighted in three Central Valley counties and could possibly make its way into the Delta in San Joaquin County. Usually what happens is somebody brings something like that into the area, it escapes, it doesn't have any natural predators, and then it, be, it begins to uh, repopulate so and especially as you know these rodents have a lot of offspring every year. Fish and wildlife officials are trying to eradicate the rodents and have set up a multi-agency task force to come up with a plan to deal with them. We're all right now getting together and trying to come up with a plan and just determine the extent of the problem and the infestation and uh, we're in the process now of uh, kind of putting out traps and, and trail cameras get a sense of uh, you know, where they are, how many there are. This is the first of its population the state has seen since the 1970s. Officials are turning to the public for help and reporting any sightings before things get out of hand. They wreck agricultural crops, they, they're rodents, they carry diseases, they can uh, uh, pass diseases onto livestock, onto people, onto pets. And again, traps have been set in several spots in Merced, Fresno, and Stanislaus counties. Carlos Correa in Stockton for us. Carlos, thank you.